<laughs> rush, rush, rush out of the hotel. Good morning. Good day. And welcome <laughs> to today's vlog. Today's vlog, I am just waiting for a taxi to pick me up to take me to the VIP bus station where I do expect the bus to be proper VIP. I've seen the photograph <laughs> until I actually see the bus and get on it. I'm expecting, well, you know, the worst. Arriving in two minutes, come on, Mr. Driver. That's me checking out of the Zing. And uh, that was really good. I really enjoyed my stay there. Um, I really did, really cheap, cheerful, good breakfast, which I haven't got time to eat right now. <laughs> oh man, due to the timing. Oh. Woo, so I hope the cab get here. Still sir, one minute, all right. Okay, so we will be on our way in one minute to this, this bus station which is in the car park of Big C. And I'll show you where that is. But, oh man, enjoyed my time in Patty, I really have. Um, it was so much better than Bangkok. Bangkok had a really, well you, you, you saw perhaps how I was. I was a bit nipped, a bit anxious, a bit uptight. But that was the kind of feeling I got around Bangkok. And I have spoken to a mate of mine who are friends of those guys in that Sawyer uh, cowboy bar. And there is a genuine, feel of you know not really that nice or, or, or whatever after the since everything's opened up and uh but uh patty yeah totally different i've really enjoyed the more i come the more i like it the more friends i meet the more subscribers the more people and um, it's like everything else i get a really good vibe and a good feeling about being uh in patty yeah. hang on i'll stick this one no yo yes 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 good lad in the boot up on cap. <laughs> right, it's getting the cab. I'll show him where I'm now going. Woo, okay. So I am at <laughs> the bus station. Right here, there's Big C. I don't know if that's open yet, but here is CK residence, room for rent. Just here. And here's ah, the ticket. The bus station, right here. So I guess I'll check in, but let's have a look. These aren't the mini buses that I saw online. <laughs> no, no, these are the mini buses. That fucking hell. That could do for good clean, that's smelling, and I'm like, oh man, they are. <laughs> they're the tricky mini buses, but there is, yes, there is space to put my luggage. So I won't be paying for another ticket. Main concern, really. <laughs> These look battered. Yeah, battered and a bit smelly. Ugh, is what it is. So here we are. We are at this bus station, which will take you mainly to Ko Chang, but they have told me they stop at Trat. How much of that is true? We'll find out there in the course of the day. Okay, right by the bus station, where those buses are on the right. I've been lured, and I and I had breakfast. And there are, oh man, All these little sandwiches. Oh, that's pretty good. Look, if you wanted a little pack up or sandwiches, right outside. Big say, oh man, look, you can get pack a pal. Oh man, all this fresh food being packed up. Wow, all the bags are right, everything. Look, that's so cool. I might just have to get something for the bus. Swaddy cap, swaddy cap. Oh, dried fish. Oh man, everything. Really cool. Oh, here's what lured me. Oh man, little. Oh, I don't know what they are, I can't remember what they are. Case. The chicken, the sausage, kebabs. Good morning, darling. You all right? Busy day today. Cool. More salad. Oh, mate, it's a wicker. It's just everything here, look. Oh, man, all sorts. Your corn, fruits, fresh fruits, bananas. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're bananas. I thought they were sausages, right? No, they're bananas. Bananas roasting on the barbecue. 
Kaboom, Kaboom Cab. And we got some soup, chicken ball, pork ball, chicken ball soup. All on the go. It was really good. I, I'm gonna have three bananas for breakfast. Made it to Trat. I have made it to Trat train station. Train station. I'll get it right one day. I will work on it. I will. I will work on getting things correct. When I'm at a bus station, I will use the word bus. So I've made it to Trap bus station. I'm keeping an eye on me gear. Now that VIP mini bus, okay, wasn't quite the one in the picture as advertised on the website, but it was a really cool, smooth, uh, ride here it wasn't full loads of places for a luggage there was four seats emptied and the driver was good he wasn't weaving about he weren't in a hurry he weren't nippy he weren't breaking you know driving up people's ass and then breaking he weren't doing none of that no lane changing uh nothing it was actually pretty cool uh, and that was 400 baht uh, by the way um to get here oh, which wasn't bad at all and they uh would actually charge you 50 baht if they pick you up from your hotel and they do drop you right at the end there no it's okay i got i'll go here uh, <laughs> ain't that guy's not going to the border and um i think he's charging 150 baht to go it's a hundred anyway so when they dump you there walk all the way along to the end to catch the minibus to trat um, when I come in there was taxis, they offered me 1,200 baht and a taxi to go now. That guy said go now to track the border, he's got, a, he might be going to the border, um, he's got to charge me to get in there, but I'm like, I, 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 I don't trust him mate, don't know what that, I don't know, so he's, no, so I've come to the mini buses, right down at the end there, and it's 140 baht and we're waiting on, right, it's 20 past 12, we're waiting on just one more person. So when we've got one more person, uh, we're going to yeah. fill the minibus up and go. And I reckon it's going to be a case of me having to have my luggage sitting on me. But I can do that because I, I ain't got that many bags anymore. I whittled my bag, baggage down. So that's where I am. Sat at, or well stood at, track bus station, waiting for a minibus to get me to the Cambodian border where the fun and games will begin. It's the worst border crossing in the whole of Asia. And it will be my third time, not my first, not my second. It'll be my third time crossing that border into Cambodia. So it'll be interesting to see how things have changed. I'm ready to go. Now these are the seats. You see how flash these seats are? <laughs> they're the seats yeah, I think this is the photograph they used on the website of this minibus oh, man. and he's got luggage in the back 140 baht and I think it's about 70 kilometers so it's probably take us an hour from here to get to the border and that's really good so I'm on the bus we're off it's half past 12 probably get there for half one I may, I don't know, I don't know what the possibilities are of the buses uh, in Koh Kong. Koh Kong is the first place I'll head to, which is across the border. It's horrible, it's horrible border time. Well, it may not be now, 11 years ago it was, it was really horrible. Um, so I may stay there this evening. Uh, I will see how things go. I may be able to get a bus to Sinanookville. I don't know. We will find out when we get there. But we're on our way. We made it. Cambodian border. As you can see, the bus driver, there's deliveries coming. Oh, you can rent apartments here. I bet they're houses. I bet they're, they're no longer hotels. This is all clean and tidy. There's no noise. Quite peaceful. A few people with their market stalls, bit of cooking going on, body cab, all sorts, no, no finger licking crispy fried chicken for Mr. King. There's no one at the border, I don't think. Ah, oh, that's the arrival over there. 
this looks to have changed massively money exchange is closed uh, that money exchange may be open I only have Thai Bart but this border when I first crossed it in 2009 they wanted US dollars uh, so I had to change some money when I came back in 2011 I thought oh no I'll change up and get some US dollars and when I got to the border they wanted Thai Bart <laughs> so this time I haven't changed any money we'll see how we go on but this is let me show you the border that's no man's land this is Thailand right down there there's coaches which hopefully I may be able to get on I don't know how far I will get in this queue ah oh, Asian yeah, departure hang on we're gone dark but this is this has changed big time looks like I'm pushing yeah he's always pushing in well right, give me a second oh, oh, oh. I need to get in my pockets and stuff come on these guys at the border for our protection cap cup and cap yeah. cheers guys have a good day decent thank you wow i've been allowed uh, the guys let me film them um, they didn't let me film that first bit i handed my passport there in departure i've never had that was so easy i've been there two minutes literally so um that's all they wanted they photographed me took my fingerprints and i've now left wow look there's a heliport this is no man's land ah oh, beautiful beach oh it's wicked and that's thailand right there this is no man's land and that's why the potholes are here because neither government will pay to clean it up and i think i've now like I said, i've now left thailand i've now got to come up here and pay or whatever to get in to Cambodia and Ko Kong Safari World is two miles while Ko Kong Province is ten. I booked in a hotel at Ko Kong for tonight at twelve dollars and it's free to cancel if I want to. I was gonna book see in Uckville. Ah uh, it's okay. I'll turn picture off, okay. Car boom. Okay. It did get nippy. It did. It took a little bit of time. Not that bad. It was, um, oh, what can I say? It was 1,600 baht. So you need baht to get in. And then uh, you need to fill out a card and sign it. Um, but the, the guy doing the thing finally gave me 300 baht back. So I had to. Uh, I had to ask for the other hundred. He, he said tip. I said no, no, mate. It, it, that's theft. You need to give me a hundred baht back. So he did, and nobody got a tip. You know, um, and that is it. So I'm just coming out. You're not allowed to film in there, but you can. And once you've done all your passport in there, you then come out, and this policeman will check your passport. You then are able to enter Cambodia. Cambodia. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Good eye! <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a tuk-tuk guy, right? It was going to be four and I've had to whittle. I've had to whittle all sorts of bargains, right? So I'm actually going to a hotel in Ko Kong for two, 200, right? 200 baht. 200, uh, 200 baht, right? Yeah, yeah. Apex Hotel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ain't got no brakes, have you, mate? Yeah, Hands are back, yeah, one more's a bag. There we go, just rustling with that. You've got to sling that in there. <laughs> it's took two. Here. <laughs> this guy will usually put fill that with all your bags if you're on a coach. You alright mate? <laughs> Bubba shrimp. Ah, you got to swim like a picture. What? Yeah, a picture. What's that? Oh, thanks, yeah. mate. Yeah, glasses. Cool, okay. <laughs> oh, you got me. Keep yeah. that up. His taxi's falling apart. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> his taxi's falling apart. I don't think he's got any brakes. I think he's got to get his foot out the side of the car to brake. Right, we're off. <laughs> ah, the 
camera's gone funny. Cheers, guys. Kapom. <laughs> yes. This is your border town, right? And all your cigarettes over there are absolutely, what, nothing. 400, less than that, uh, 400 baht a pack. I think they may even be 200. Oh, how, how much cigarettes, usually, baht? Yeah, I have 300. 300, okay. Well, I was, I was in the middle. What's it, anyway? So this is us, coming out. And the And the what? One book. One book. Okay. 300. For the block of tobacco. Right. I am off to my hotel. I am sitting in style in my tuk tuk. We won't be long. Another little stop. Right here. Another little just stop. Having my passport checked. Again. <laughs> Which is pretty mad, considering I've just come through immigration and well, they're supposed to do it, isn't they? you think they'd do it right, but yeah, just a little area. As uh, you go up that hill to the border, little towns and that here, checkpoint. And then we go round there, there should be a bridge that we cross, and then hopefully I'll be in Koh Kong. Um, and then I'll take you for a little trek round Koh Kong. It's only a small place. That's, uh, Oh mate, that's a long way to go yet for happy ending. Long way. This is the bridge. It is long. Wow. And that is Koh Kong. hotel I've got to sort this selfie stick out because I've broke it so I've got to keep bearing with it now hotel look double bed which looks pretty much okay hang on all things look oh that's proper spongy man that's proper spongy that's a sponge that's a bit too spongy we've got a shower Doo -doo -doo. shower and a bathroom which is all right 380 baht a night. Pretty good. Right, and I'm not going out. I need a few things. Because I'm going out, even though I've got all my sweaty gear on. Ah, I need a beverage, so we're going out. So. And that is, that's the ring. <laughs> and we have a swimming pool, look. And I'm right on the diving board. <laughs> These wicked rooms. It is wicked. Now, it's this little hotel without a pool and the rooms. I thought it looked quite cool. And I'm going out there. Ah, there's something I forgot to show you. I will. I'll show you when I do my next vlog. When you come to Cambodia, like I did 11 years ago, they give you a bit of paper. And on that bit of paper is a warning telling you <laughs> that you will get a parasite you will in your stomach that's pretty good and last time i was here i did get that parasite it's because they have no fresh water all that water here in cambodia is made from reverse osmosis you look on the internet for that one <laughs> I remember I used to pay in 2011 two dollars for a big bottle of the Nestle imported water. And I did. It was uh, reverse osmosis for me. No, no. So this is really cheap. So as you come on the third floor, it is wicked. Got rooms. I'm up there, middle one. And it's a pretty cool spot. It reminds me a little of the hotel from the BBC, The Serpent. 
if you ever watched that, which was wicked in the 70s in Bangkok. Really good series. True. Nice reception. Oh man, it's so hot. Oh, and these are my next door neighbours, good eh? Who bought their smoke bike in Vietnam. They've got it into Cambodia. And, oh man, look, you've got your cushion gear. Yeah, man. That was really cool. Cool. I'll see, I'll see you before I leave, guys, I'm sure. And I think they're going to take that to Lao. And they've just come here today. Uh, ah! They've arrived there today from somewhere out in the jungle about a hundred miles away where they've been living on the side of a river with waterfalls and some, somewhere that sounds really idyllic but I can't go there. They, they, uh, I, I can't already, I booked a ticket for my next destination tomorrow. Uh, they've just come in from that jungle village here uh, just so they can get a hot water, a shave, pick up loads of goods, produce and that before they go back out to their village which sounds awesome but unfortunately for me when I got my tuk-tuk rider here we were talking about buses and bus stops and I was going to get up tomorrow or I was going to have a walk about tonight to go to the bus stop to find out what time the buses go to see Nookville tomorrow now the bus stop station is up there about a kilometre and so guess what I found out <laughs> There's no buses go to see Nookville anymore. No, not from the border, not from anywhere, which is why I haven't found out info. I thought they'd been a bit strange. There must be buses going to see Nookville. No, none. See Nookville is just hotels and buildings that aren't being built, sky rise buildings. Now, I did want to go there because I, I said I've been there before when that was proper hippie paradise. It was. Um, if, you, if you're in my Patreons account, there is a vlog on there, Sessions, the little Sessions bar. I used to go and drink at NC Nookville, that was from 2011. But no, no more. So what I've done, my taxi driver said he would take me to the bus station before he took me to the hotel for no extra money. Uh, I know, amazing. So I thought, yeah, let's go. So we went to the bus station and that's where I found out that they don't run buses to see in Oakville. Matter of fact, they only run buses from there to Penon Pen. So tomorrow at 9.30, I will be getting a bus, uh, a little VIP bus to Penon Pen. I'll be there tomorrow and then from there I can, I'll probably spend two days. I don't know, there's not much for me to be doing there. So see and reap is where I'm gonna probably stay a little bit of time because I can do loads and loads of photographic work um, and video production. Can't fly me drone though. I think there's an actual drone ban in Cambodia as a whole. Not 100% sure, just think there is, I don't know. I heard somebody say, I know anchor what you can't fly a drone and it's a waste of time writing in because I did that four years ago and I got no reply. So this is Oh, Kong! <laughs> and I've walked up here because it's at the ending time, innit? Took, took guys. Here, oh man, look. Oh, oh man, look, that's a proper Alsatian. Ah. Oh, he's good, good dog. Anthony! Yeah, oh, An Anthony. Anthony? They call Anthony. 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 Yeah. Oh, he looks cool. Oh man, you pet him on the head. Yeah, you good? No, he's not sure. Come on, cheers, buddy. <laughs> That's an Alsatian. Proper dog. Oh man, got a few stalls. Okay. I was told, I think the tuk tuk guy said there was a market up here, night market. So, fuck me, hang on. <laughs> I can't remember what street I just walked out of on the hotel. I'm like, I'm away. I've got out quick enough. I'm like, right, it's about 200 meters past there on the left. God fucking remember. <laughs> got a key in my hand. Oh, mate, that's all right. Apex, I know where I'm going. Got his name on it. Oh, that's good. 
three pounds eighty for the hotel. Three pound, three hundred and eighty baht. Mega bargain. I had a couple. Uh, I really cool meeting that couple. Let's stay in the room next door. Uh, what a wicked way to travel by a bike in Vietnam. Uh, and that was good because they, they, they've given me some really good information there for when I want to buy a bike in Vietnam and I want to get it across some borders. So I know how to do it by chatting to them, which is awesome. Now it does this look, well, it does look very marketplace, look. Oh man, big market. <laughs> oh. Now, I want to get out of the ending because I'm fucking hot and sweaty and it's been a bit of a long day. And I was thinking, if I did that, I could make a vlog about this market. But you know what? <laughs> oh, look. Oh, man. That pile, all that shit up there, right next. Oh, no, that chili's drying. Oh, cool. 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 Okay. Oh, man. Coconut lady there, right on the building site. <laughs> Oh man, chopping his coconuts. Swoody cap. Oh, are you good? Good, good, good. Oh, that's cool. Friendly people. And that is. Oh, mate, a really dark market. And when I say dark market, not, not, not the black market. No, dark, as in there no lights on. Oh, man, what's this lady got here? Oh, it's different stuff. Oh, man. Banana, banana, oh man, banana. <laughs> so, oh man, let's have a look. Good day, hello. Da -da -da -da. See what this market is like. I see if, oh, <laughs> good time I get get a chance to go in I'm like I get a rough no. this is what I mean by dark market look that's what he kept good day eh? it's too dark to go in it's mainly closed you know, we camera won't pick up on it it's too dark uh, that is a problem with the GoPro 10 night time or uh, it, it isn't that brilliant it's all right obviously I don't go out and do many nighttime vlogs so that is the market <laughs> it goes on and on, it's really big. Oh, body <laughs> cab, good day. It's all sorts of stuff going on. Whew. Oh, man, that building, look. You got this Chinese, Chinese, how? Oh, Sinto? Chinese Sinto building. Oh, good bit of music. Good day. <laughs> that old building being built oh man easy and safe money oh that's cool that's cool now I have been told and when I go to the ATM it's uh, I, uh, I might get rye I could get dollars so that'll be a new one I'll find out about that but it is shit old Cambodia Wow. Good day. And I want to be ending. I need something to eat because I haven't eaten anything since. Since I did buy. Oh, yes, I did. I bought one of them pack of pals at the bus uh, outside Big C this morning for the bus journey. You know what? Even though it wasn't hot, that was pretty good. And it was only 50 baht. So that was pretty good. Now, I want. Oh, just a little restaurant, some sort. <sighs> and oh man, I bust, I've thrown away my bum bag. I have, it's gone. And I didn't, probably worse off buying one here, but I didn't actually fancy buying another bag in Thailand. <laughs> no, no. Right. So this is Ko Kong. I say it's a sleepy, well it's not so sleepy, border town. Oh man, it's got popcorn. Popcorn. Got home. 
it's not as sleepy as it was before. This market has sprung up. There's more people about. And I hope when I get to this junction at the end, it'll be somewhere for me to have out the ending. Strug struggling. That's a good haircut. I found hairdressers. <laughs> I can't find out the ending. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Ah, oh, I can't find a bar. Unless this is my last hope over the road. There's loads of food about because there's loads of street. Oh man, it all got blue. This one's blue. Blue, him getting yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Dip, my friend, you speak English a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I can speak English. You can, you're Man City. New, new shirt. Yeah, I got it out there. Over there. Yeah, just $8, actually, sure it's paid. <laughs> $8? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cambodia's good. Yeah. Where, is, are there any bars? Here? Bars? Bars to drink. You want to drink? go to bar, eh? Yes. And restaurants? Is there? Restaurant. Or bar and restaurants? Oh, maybe. Is there, there's not an area here where there's no, bars? You go through there, yeah. there's some market over there. Oh, the, go there, okay. Yeah. This place over there, is that? It's, uh, it's a restaurant, actually. It's a restaurant, okay. Yeah, this is also, yeah. And also here? Yeah, look there. Okay. I oh, know, I see, I see, I see what's over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you're looking good there, my friend. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Good lad. All the best, thank you. <laughs> oh, man, got plenty of food and drink. This looks like, like I say, it's hard work. Ah, there's a restaurant where they will cook you up. Oh man, all these little tables in here, you can get drinks. But I've, so, I've seen, <laughs> oh man, I've seen barbecue duck on the go. Fuck. Ah, and there is, there's another restaurant over there. Ah oh man, so I don't know what I want to eat except barbecue duck. <laughs> I might have to buy a duck and then get some, get an anchor or a bed. I've walked around, but I said the guys, there's a few bars there. But how this place used to be, it's, it's not quite the same. It's, I, I think perhaps all the foreign people may have just gone away. I don't know. I say this is all massive and it's very much Cambodian, very, very much. Um, so I don't think those bars or whatever restaurants from many years ago, I don't think they're still about. How much is a duck, darling? Look at them. <sighs> Can have? Can have? How much? For a duck? <laughs> oh girl. They look really good, they're hot, straight on the barbie curls, look. Sesame seeds on them. Can buy? For me? Duck? Yes. How much? Hang on. Okay. One. <laughs> barbecue duck chopped up did come with a load of rice and greens and all sorts and that as well and there is my barbecue duck look at him hot off the coals for 200 five dollars or 200 baht and you hear that guess what we're not quite onto the Angkor just yet. No, we shall shall move over slowly. <laughs> wow, wicked. So I didn't find a restaurant. I'm, this lady there having a dinner has got a shop here. So I just sat myself down. Cheers, it's been a long day. So, we have, look at that man, that 
that is proper crispy barbecue duck. Two hundred bar. Now barbecue chicken. It cost you two hundred bar in Thailand. It would. Mm. Right, that's me, isn't it? I'm done. I am. I've, I've walked, like I said, I've walked about for ages around here. Grease everywhere, I put on my pants and my trousers. I couldn't, there aren't any, like I said, but I'm not going to repeat myself now. I'm not. What I'm not going to do, just give you a big thumbs up. Really do appreciate you watching. Today's vlog, it is what it is. And, uh, and tomorrow will be much the same, so I'm off to pen on pen tomorrow. Um, but then I'm, like I say, I'll just walk down there, go on the bus, and I'll do a vlog in pen on pen when I'm there tomorrow evening, afternoon. So, this was. I forgot the theme tune. The holiday in oh, Cambodia. Oh, mate, I'll let do that tomorrow. So, until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Cheers, and until next time. Au revoir.